we are back in the States. Boston, as you can tell, he did not know. There's Fenway Park. And then there's the House of Blues. We were here many, many, many moons ago. Many moons. Pretty stoked to be here though. The thing that, oh man, there's so much construction now. I don't know if you guys remember that last time. Probably shouldn't admit it. That Danny and I actually snuck into Fenway. That was a long time ago, but I don't know how we did it. I think we just talked. I guess it wasn't sneaking. We just talked our way into Fenway. I think they were playing the Rays, so I think that's why we were very motivated. I don't think I can do it this time because it's, you know, baseball season's not going on right now, so there's no games. But I am trying to figure out if I can go take some photos of the Green Monster, which is right there. This one, uh, actually Wrigley Field is probably my favorite. This is a close second as far as baseball uh, parks. Tony's in the trailer again. Let's see if I can scare the shit out of him. <laughs> scared the shit. <laughs> I heard somebody running, I'm like, God <laughs> damn it, here we go. You had him. The thing about the House of Blues is that I would say that it's so cool because it's actually designed to be a venue versus a place or a bar or whatever that was converted into a venue. They have all the stuff to make you spoil. AKA laundry and catering. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you saw this video's video, the last video, how Remy point, how uh, Ali pointed out, I didn't even realize that that day, was it Thursday, was the day we announced that Remy was coming five years ago. <sighs> it's kind of crazy to think about. Remy requested that we go to the beach, so here we are. We are at the beach. It is a very gloomy day, but um, it's actually really nice. There's nobody out here. Oh my gosh, the fog is crazy down there. I don't think you can see it. It's, I mean, it is awfully foggy out right now. And when we left the house, it was 80, and now it's 72. So I told Remy, we're definitely not going in the water. But we can dig and hang out by the sand, for sure. Right, Rem Rem? We've built Remy a little wind barrier cave. We decided that because it's so crazy out here, we needed to block the wind and build our amazing castle. It's our house. It's pretty deep. We did good now. Look at this. So much room. Almost too much room. Lots of room for activities. I don't even know what to do with myself. The best part about House of Blues is the amount of space that you get on stage. And if we were actually, if this was our tour, this is where Seb would be, and it'd be even more. But even though he's right there, it's still a tremendous amount of space. Like one of those things where it's almost uncomfortable, the amount. We'll run into each other now. Reaching out. See if you notice any of the songs. We just had the best time ever at the beach. So much fun. Actually, I have to say that it's probably more fun going to the beach when it's cooler because nobody's there, so you have the whole beach to yourself. The only thing that I can say negative about it is that it was so windy and it was so foggy, but it was still beautiful. Like, we had a great time, right, Rem? Yeah. Okay, so where we're at right now is Fort Soto Park, and we love Fort Soto, so we came camping here. We go to the beach here all the time. We can ride your bikes here. There's a lot of trails. It's just a cool little space. It's really beautiful, and I just, I don't know, I really love Fort Soto. It holds a really special place in here. I feel like I always start the videos coming out of the tour bus. Thankfully so, because oh my gosh, you guys are here. It is, we're in Jersey right now, in Sayreville. If you guys rec recognize this, you know, parking lot, this is usually where we uh, play football. There's the whole 
junkyard that's over there. That I always try to go to, but I can never get into. At any rate, this is another sold out show. Yesterday's show was sold out. I think it was 22, 2300 people or something like that. This one's about 2000 or 2100. And then we have New York City, so the next. These last three are going to be the, the biggest ones, I think, of the tour. So I'm just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. I think I go this way. This is the weird stage, isn't it? A little bit. The long stage. Seb, you can hang out over here? I see you guys. <laughs> the one that's the interesting one because people can go over there and everything. Hey Shaggy, what does this do? Oh dude, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure do? it out every day. I don't know. Is that a mute button? No. It makes me feel like I just need something. <laughs> trying to do some serious <laughs> It makes me feel like I know what I'm doing. Exactly. Fuck yeah. Is that your levels over there? Yeah. Fun little story. Yesterday I asked uh, Matthew over here to put the riser up here. And yesterday at the House of Booze, I went to run and jump on it, but they cut the lights. Wow. I championing having it here, and I clicked this, and I almost went down, even though I asked to have it there. I know. That would have been fun. If you were at the House of Booze yesterday, you probably saw it. I know that song. <laughs> I have crisis averted on this one right now. These things were on the stage, the risers. And I noticed because the stage is rumbling because there's subs all underneath that. And when I looked over, one of the, the stands, the legs, were actually uh, hanging over the uh, edge of the stage. And Coley's with the stand right now, so he's not actually at soundcheck. So we wouldn't be able to tell him. And because if somebody jumps on it, they're going to fall down. Kind of like when the riser wasn't taped down on Halloween on the Simple Plan tour. And I jumped on it and just kicked it. Thank God there's no photographers down there. It could have been bad. It doesn't help too that I was dressed as a dad. Although that was a fun show. That was New York as well. Right? That was New York. Ever since We The Kings lost our stuff, I should say FedEx lost our stuff. It was FedEx? Yeah, FedEx lost our stuff. We bought air tags. We put it in every piece of gear we have. So that way we know where everything is. Because all this stuff gets lost. So if anyone like airlines and stuff say, oh, we don't know where it is, we could pop up in the air tag. My point is we needed more. So I bought some more. And the funniest thing is we couldn't find this box of air tags that were not registered. So the irony of the situation is that we lost air tags themselves. I highly recommend popping these places, guys. So this is a gift from Char because he's out of town. It's something from Digital Circus, I think. I have no idea. It's so weird looking um, for Remy. So I'm going to go give it to her now. Who is that from Digital Circus? Who got me? Daddy got you that. Do you like it? Yeah. He's supposed to have one wing though. I know. Well, he had to fly here, so he has to have two wings. Thanks, Dad. But if there's wagon foot, that means we got all of the kale toys. Yeah. And the nut bubbles. I love you, Dad. Thanks. I'm going to put it by. <laughs> when I get wagon foot, I'm going to put it by. Okay. Today is a big day in the Trippy household. You want to know why? We're learning to yo-yo. So my, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister-in-law, Uncle Matt, and, and my sister is Lila. Your cousin is Lila. How is that being my sister? You don't have a sister. Only. Your dogs are your sisters. <laughs> okay, so, um, but they're coming over for dinner and I had to go grab something. Hang on, stop, 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 because I'm feeding my sister's cat. And, we're, she got a yo-yo. Pull it up, you got it, you're doing so close. Okay, so let me show you really quick, okay. I'm trying to teach Remy yo-yo, and the fact that she can kind of get it is amazing to me. Because you're awesome. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one. See how I did that? This is not the best yo-yo, this is a decent yo-yo. But there are people that like, yeah, this is not the best yo-yo. So I guess this isn't the best one to learn on, but I mean, if you're not a professional yo 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 -er, it's a good start. <laughs> it is dropping 20 degrees today in the next like 30 minutes or hour, not 30 minutes, maybe a couple hours, but dropping 20 degrees. It was beautiful today, now it's freezing. She said, let's change our luck. This night is all we've got. It's my dream, I promise you would have the whole world at your feet. And that we lay on a bed we made of this. Everybody put both hands in the air. And we put it You're everything I need. And now I know what she did. 
your fucking voices one more time. She takes me! just got done having dinner at our house so we try and get together like every so often at my dad's house and do like um, kind of like a pizza dinner where the kids go over and make pizza and we decided that it would just be best to have it here just because we have the backyard and then the kids can play and everything so my dad and Linda they made lasagna and stuffed shells it was amazing and then my mom brought pizza and we just hung out and it was beautiful and it was wonderful and honestly it was a great time and the weather it was like nice and chilly so we sat out by the fire and sorry i didn't film much of it but you know every once in a while you kind of just need your moment with your family but it was a blast and then my neighbor across the street came over she's such a sweet lady miss florence and she got to hang out with us for a little bit so it was nice
People here are just, they know what they're doing. This lady's trying to walk in front of you. This cop got away. <laughs> hey, I know what. Hey, I missed the back of that truck with the trailer. Awesome. <laughs> Do you bear? Oh, I remember this venue. Isn't this where, like, we got the uh, Guinness World Record awarded? I think so. I think it was here. Can you say, happy Sunday? <laughs> Get the soccer ball. We are at a park right now because we had to go feed the kitty cat. And Remy requested that we go to a park. But it's so cold. Oh my god, it's so cold. I can't handle it. I'm such a wimp. I have like three or four layers on. So does Remy. She's like loving it. You know, I think that's the funny part about kids is they they like can handle any type of weather. But I am the biggest wimp. It's like I love the cold, but I don't think I'm prepared for the cold. Like my butt, my, my butt, my blood is not prepared for the cold. But we're having a good time. We have the whole park to ourselves. You want to get on that one? Okay. Hold on. Go high, hold on. Yeah, it's been quite a long time since we played here, but I remember it being a fun old time. Yeah, I could have sworn that's where they awarded the uh, Guinness World Record, right there. Oh no! You gotta keep going! We're almost there! Okay, good! Hold the treasure. Oh, thank you. Ah, here we go, down a slide that I can barely fit in! The treasure's falling out of my hands. At the Times Square, the Palladium's over there. We were here probably, I don't even know how long ago. There's two giant, a gorilla and a bear. I totally want to get one of these. Yep, I want to get the donut so bad. Alrighty, kiddos. Come on, kiddo. Let's go, get out there. Oh, see, this is where Remy has marked all the dangerous areas that we cannot step on. We have to be very careful. Okay, you're in trouble. You just stepped all over the X's. Penny smart. She goes in the green area, meaning safe. <laughs> I'm I'm shoveled and erect, per the usual. That's okay though. Uh, we had a very very fun and busy day today. We went and fed the cat. We got some work done. I played at the playground. We had to meet my mom at Sam's Club to do a few things. And then we walked the dogs, cleaned the backyard. We scootered quite a few times. I had to chase after her. I am just exhausted, like beyond worn out, but I'm having so much fun. I think I have to convince myself that I'm not that bad, but I'm pretty bad. It's freezing now, the wind has been picking up. It was actually snowing. It goes down these places, and essentially this becomes like this chute for like wind, it's just like this tunnel. But I'm trying to find Gotham Pizza, which is one place that Allie and I found. All right, I'm happy now. I think that's where we're playing. 
All right, guys, we gotta get going. This place is always so nuts. Emma's over there trying to get a bunch of people to hug them. Daisy, we got Olaf, lots of Elmos. We got Stitch over there. There's the Grinch, Puffs, the Giant. I'm gonna say gorilla. Just harassing people, Daisy and Donald. Yep, just harassing people, Daisy and Donald. I'm starting to realize that I don't have enough warm clothes for the rest of this tour. Like, I knew it was gonna be a cold tour, but I did not expect it to be as cold as it is. Didn't really expect to see snow either. I'm just wandering around right now, trying to get myself lost so that way I can see if it's kind of a fun thing to do, I do. Because I try to get lost and then find myself back. Do something to do. Not too lost. Alright, Q30 Rock theme song. What I'm saying is you know, you know, I knew. I don't remember that. <laughs> 